Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got this Honda Rototiller in the shop. The engine, she's no good. So we're going to do a heart transplant on this one. We have a brand new offshore clone to this GX. Sitting on a bench over there. We're going to rip this one off, drop that one on, and get this thing back running for the customer. We do need to put a belt on there. This one's got a uh, small, small issue. But it's a 37 and a half inch belt. I don't have one in stock. I'm going to have to order one for him. But we'll get it running anyways and uh, get it ready for him. So stay tuned. Wait for the intro. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is a made in Japan Honda 5 horse GX140. It's got slightly different controls than what we're used to seeing now. Normally a Honda, in most cases, you're going to find a throttle lever down here. And that's what the uh, replacement clone is has got. It's got the same thing. Also, you're going to find your on-off switch here for ignition. This has just got a rubber plug in it. And the machine has a remote on-off switch up here. I'm going to see what it's going to take to convert the new engine to this style. Um, I mean, we could just eliminate the stuff that's on here and go with the stuff that's on the replacement engine, but I'd kind of like to keep it original. If it's not gonna be too much trouble, again, it's a customer's machine, so it's it comes down to cost too, right? So labor, if it's gonna be too much time and effort, I'm just gonna leave the replacement engine exactly the way it is. We'll just disable this stuff and it'll still work fine for me. It'll be able to shut it off and the throttle will be down here instead of up on the handles, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what rolls out of that. But let's get this, uh, the air box off. Let's see what's underneath here. As far as throttle linkage. Dirt. That carburetor's been eating a lot of dirt. There's no, uh... There's a gasket there, but I think it's been leaking. That's probably what took it out anyways. The carburetor's got mud in it. <laughs> well, I think that's what's happened. It's ingested enough dirt to lower the compression. I did put a compression gauge in this thing, and it's got about 40 pounds, so it's not quite a lot. And it blows smoke bad. Like, like bad, bad. Seriously bad. But we're not as... The scope of the of this video is not to determine what was wrong with this engine. We know what's bad, so we're just going to change it. But yeah, so the throttle kind of looks almost like a standard setup with your governor lever and everything. Might be more effort than what it's worth. Maybe... But I'm going to take it off this engine anyways. So we'll get some slack in the cable. And we'll just unhook it here. Maybe get out of there. The cable's off. That's relative. That's all straightforward anyways. The cable's disconnected from its bracket tray. But we have to be able to put this bracket on the new engine easily to go back to that. Make sure that all the connections are the same. Which I think they are. It's just on the governor arm under here. Kill switch as well. That's might have pulled this cover off. Oh, well, maybe it's under the tank. Where is it? No, it goes up under the cover. That's the kill wire comes down from the handles and wraps around where the new engine has a switch right here. So we might have to pull this cover off. Perhaps. What do we got here? Ooh, she's fancy. She's fancy. Get you zoomed in over there a little bit. 
So the old engine is 140 cc. This one's 212. So it's that's a five horse originally, and this one is a seven and a half, seven and change. Breather tubes and stuff everywhere. I guess this is a vapor line for emissions. <laughs> Bracketry actually looks very similar. It might not be that hard at all to change that over. Where's this hose going now? I have to get it off the tank. Go. A pair of pliers. So this is a vapor line that uh, looks like it's going to take fuel vapors from the fuel tank and pull them into the intake system. Let's get that rigmarole out of here. Clamp. Pull the hose through this cleaner. It's off the, it's out of the way. Air filter, which is half the size of the original Honda one. And what do we got on this? Split there or one piece? Looks like one piece. Let's get those two 10 millimeter nuts off of there. breather to the air to the uh, valve cover there we go well that air cleaners off <clears throat> so there's a bolt here and a bolt there which is the same as the other one I'm just checking out the governor linkages kind of comparing them see if the springs are roughly the same length I think we might get away with it that's stiff enough. There we go. Hmm. Two bolts and a couple of springs. Two bolts and one spring, actually. One spring pulls on the governor arm, which in turn pulls a lever. So it's the same on this one. Okay, well, let's pull those 8mm bolts out of there. Like I was saying, like we could, we could just bolt this on and run it. But if I can, I want to try and preserve the original controls. There's a spring under here on the governor. That's disconnected. There's our throttle assembly. So moving that manual lever just pulls and pushes on this spring here. Open and close this. The governor in turn the throttle. Well, that's straightforward. The old engine's got 10 millimeter bolts on it. Give me a sec, pull them out of there. Same angle. <laughs> bolts are on a kooky angle. Let's undo that spring out of there. It's dirty. Never, if everything isn't exactly the same, we may have to adjust the length of the springs or something. Just get the tension right on them. Try and start those bolts by fingers first. Make sure everything's going to line up slightly different. Slightly. Switching between 8 and 10 millimeter here. All over the place. I might have to get a Dremel and just open up that bracket just a little. Nope. She threaded. <clears throat> I'm 
Yeah, we'll have to check that governor's spring. I think this one's a little... Sh this governor's spring is a little shorter. But we'll see when we get it fired up anyways. See how it runs. See what it feels like. It may just change the way the throttle lever feels. Looks like everything else is pretty much the same. We have to leave this off anyways to... Uh, We'll have to leave it off or get it off back off to hook up the throttle cable, but I want to make sure that this old throttle bracket doesn't interfere with the new air cleaner assembly. There's a, a boss on the top where the cable hooks up. No, it actually looks like it's going to fit perfectly. Okay, well, we'll go with that. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the engine off the machine. Uh, off the rototiller itself, I'll get the old engine off and we'll get this one mounted, that way I'm not kneeling on the ground doing this. <laughs> we'll be able to lift the hoist up a little bit and get better access to everything. So we got the new engine bolted on there, got a bit of a snag. The old engine sitting on the bench over there, it has a tapered shaft where that pulley goes on. So I'm going to have to find a three-quarter straight shaft keyed pulley for this one. And I can adjust it where I need to go and then just lock it down to the shaft, that's easy. I just got to find one. Uh, they're commonly available everywhere. Uh, so we got gas in it. I did put oil in it. They come shipped empty, so you got to make sure you check the oil and fill it up. We've got the gas in there from the old machine. I temporarily threw this air cleaner assembly on there because it's easier than the other one with its hose and all that stuff. But I want to fire this thing up and see what happens. So it's been sitting here a little bit. The carb bowl should be full. So we're going to let's turn the switch on, which we're going to... I'm going to try and relocate this switch because the machine has one up here, but I'll... Try and relocate this one up there. That, that's I just want to get it running. See what happens. Got fuel. She's on. Uh, fuel valve is on. Give her some choke. Let's see what happens. Let's see how many pulls it takes. Brand new engine. I'm going to say one pull. One pull. Sounds good. No smoke. A little bit of a popping noise in the exhaust. That's a lean, lean condition. Let's get the tachometer. It's idling about 20, 2100. It's a little high, but it'll be fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. We'll check our maximum speed too, because that's gotta be set. Don't wanna over rev them. That was 3,800 and it wasn't all the way open yet. So there's an adjustment screw under here that sets your maximum throttle. When you pull that lever, this moves. You're gonna tighten that screw in a little. It just restricts how far the throttle can go. What do we got now? That was 3,700. I'm gonna aim for 3,550 or 3,600. surge. I think it's still a little bit lean. Got a governor hunting a little bit. So I'm gonna, I might fix that. Runs good though. Does run good. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that pilot jet out of there and I'm gonna put a tiny little drill bit through it and open it up a little. See what happens with that. That usually will fix them up. So let me get the air cleaner back off and uh, I'll pull that jet out and I'll show you guys and I'll twist a little drill bit through there and see if that straightens it out a little bit. If my phone ever stops. All right, so I've managed to get my massive drill bit. Can you even see that? Yeah, 
through that little tiny hole. So this jet just sits in the top of the carburetor. Literally just pops in the top there. And there's a little plastic screw. It's an idle stop, but which is not actually functioning on this because it uh, is governed by a spring, but it also works as the retainer for that pilot. So it's not critical. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Most of the time, the idle or the throttle plate never even touches this idle stop screw. Sometimes they do. So I'm just going to put it back in roughly, uh, roughly where it was because it's not even touching it anyways. And... Let's get this air cleaner back on here. Loosely. Let's see what happens. There's the nuts. I want to see if it still surges. Shouldn't. <clears throat> it might anyways because it doesn't have a load on it. Once you put a load on it, the governor will open farther. It'll put more throttle angle. But, well, let's see what happens. Fuel is on. That's a lot smoother. Doesn't do the hunt anymore. Six hundred, right on the money. There we go. So just opening up that pilot just just a little tiny bit with a I don't even know what size that drill bit is. It's just small. Just opening up the pilot jet gave it just a little bit more fuel, and it stopped that lean surge when it at wide open or even mid throttle. Uh, your carburetor uses the pilot jet and the main jet, so it needs both. So opening up the pilot just gives us just enough fuel to stop the surge, a little lean hunting, and uh, yeah, it should run pretty good for the guy. Now I gotta find a pulley, so I'm gonna jump back onto the video once I get a pulley and get that figured out, and I gotta get a belt for him anyways. So I'll fire up the camera once I get those parts. Well, let's just finish out this video here. So I managed to get a belt to fit. I had to go to a universal pulley. It's just a 5 8 wide or a B, a B profile belt. And it's just over three inches. Well, the original was about three inches. And uh, the only other modification is, I had to put a hole in that. <laughs> Cause the shaft of that motor is longer than the original. It wasn't too crazy. I mean, I had a bit of a thing trying to get the, the pulley. I had to go to quite a few places to find one that I needed, but uh, in the end, we ended up eliminating the on-off switch on the motor housing. And we can use the factory one here. The factory throttle's hooked up to the carburetor. And we, I did, in the video previous, you could see that I used an air cleaner at the bottom there. It was dirty. I was just using that for testing. This one has emissions stuff. It pulls vapor from here into the carburetor for emissions. But... I was just using the other one for testing purposes only. But yeah, this is a great little machine. Quality build. It's a Honda. Thanks for joining me, guys, in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, give that bell a dingle. It'll let you know when I upload new stuff. And until the next one, take care.